might get stolen bases with this next guy, though. Number seven on the list, it's Alex Bregman. He's going two picks later at 46 overall. And Bregman's had kind of a rocky career. He's done that thing where we just didn't know what we were going to get from him. Is he going to steal 20 bases and hit 10 home runs? Who knows? Is he going to hit 40 home runs and steal five bases? Who knows? Well, last year he dropped the stolen bases, just hit some homers, and overall suffered to a 242, 350, 451 slash line. That could be because of outside influences with the trash can thing. Who knows? Oh, well. Either way, Michael, what do you think about Bregman coming into this year? Will he be a target of yours? Uh, Bregman's another guy that I view as pretty solid. Um, I I don't take those trash can things as seriously like if anything i use that sort of stuff as a way to get a a value in a draft basically using the perception of things like that um yeah he's in his prime he can hit i don't think he's again there's not a lot of steals at third base i don't think he's going to become but he does have the ability to chip in double digit steals so it's like I don't know. I mean, I guess it's hard. It's hard. I'm probably not going to take him a lot in early in drafts, but I, if he falls to me, I definitely see him as a, a safe third baseman who, who's barring injury going to give me a lot of good stats. Yeah. If I'm, if I'm dead set that I have to take a third baseman, you know, before like, let's say before pick 50, uh, Rendon's the guy that I want first, but if I miss out on Rendon, I think I'm looking at Bregman, and I, 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 you know, I think it's only, you know, human to think that that the outside stuff with the, the cheating scandal was going to kind of play with everybody's heads. And I, I'm, I mean, I'm not to say that it had an effect or it didn't. Who knows? But I think it was just kind of all factors included to, you know, we could kind of gather that they, the Astros as a whole. We're going to have a down year as far as some of their their performances, and this was one of them. I, I think he's going to be fine. I think he's going to bounce back in a big way. I think over a full season, I think we're going to see more of what we saw in 2018 and 2019. I, I just I, I question if we're going to get the double digit steals, but we know that potential is there. I think we're going to get something. He didn't swipe one in 42 games last year. I think we're going to see, you know, at the very least, he can replicate the five that he took in 2019. But he's probably another one of my my favorite values here. Um, with what pick 46 on the high end 57 man if you can get him for that pick 57 I, I really really like that a lot I think he might be one of my favorite buys certainly at this position but maybe overall this year here at pick 46 I think a lot of people will do the thing Michael was kind of hinting at being like oh the the trash can banging he's not very good it was solely because of that I don't buy that. I think he's a really good hitter. He's just 26 years old. And the pendulum has swung massively because he was so insanely, I won't say overrated, but close to overrated early on. I'm, I'm talking like, you know, seventh overall picks and drafts kind of thing. And then now it seems like everyone just thinks he's bad. I, I don't know. I think it's entirely possible he could pop off another 40 home run season like he did in 2019. And like you guys said, he's not a zero in steals. He's always hit for a good bat- batting average barring last season. And he's always taken a boatload of walks. Even last year, he walked 13.3% of the time, never strikes out. I like it a lot. This is definitely a big buy for here. So if I'm needing uh, the, someone at this position at this point in the draft, I will absolutely take it with my first pick of the fourth round if I get to that point. <laughs> 